All right, welcome back. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this uh, ICM 2812 control board. This is a universal control board, uh, furnace control board. I'm really excited about this because this is actually truly universal. It covers over 200 different models of furnace. As you can see inside the box here, so it's going to have um, a couple different harness and things like that. So that way it's it'll work with a variety of different, everything from carrier to train, ream. Yeah, it's pretty slick. And these are the type of boards you, you definitely need to have on stock. I mean, that, there's nothing worse than simple, no heat call, all it is a board, and you got to go go to Supply House or order the, the, the OEM boards. One of these right here will definitely help to, you know, mitigate that issue a bit. So that's going to be, as you can see, I mean, I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this, you're familiar with a control board. I don't have to explain anything to you. But yeah, like I said, it's just a universal replacement board. Comes with a bunch of cable harnesses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you up on the screen exactly some of the literature, uh, the specifications. That way you can get an idea of how this thing works. Pretty straightforward. So this board is really it's used for um, hot surface ignition. Doesn't doesn't do the this doesn't uh, do spark ignition or anything like that. So that's okay. It's pretty much that spark ignition is a lot less common, so I'm really not too pressed about that. It's compatible with LP or natural gas. And this other cool thing about it, it's also got the um, fault indication. So it's got an LED fault light. And what I like about it as well is it's got all the faults right on the board. Okay. So you got all your flashes there. Soft lockout, one flash, pressure switch. You know, pressure switch stuck closed, pressure switch stuck open. Nice. I like that they separated those two. Uh, limit switch open, flame cutout sequence, that's cool. Roll out, switch open, weak flame, that's really nice. That's pretty That's pretty slick right there. So I'm guessing that might be if you've got a weak, if you maybe dir a dirty flame sensor, miswired gas valve, okay, interesting. Reverse polarity, that's a super important one that a lot, it gets uh, underestimated a lot. People don't really understand the importance of making sure your polarity um, coming in Basically, the polarity on the uh, transformer and your line voltage should be the same. They should be pretty much on the same phase, essentially. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second. And you also have a brownout fault, so that's pretty cool. Very, very um, telling board. Tells a whole lot more than a lot of the factory stuff out there. What else have we got here? Like you see, obviously, you got your flame sensor. Uh, port there. That's pretty cool. Speed taps here for your blower. Speed taps. Park. Also dehume. That's pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty. It's it's full featured. It's a full featured uh, control board. And like I said, you've got a whole bunch boatload of harnesses, so that way you've got compatibility. You'll know if you have it when it's when you come across it. I mean, I'm not even going to go through all the 200 uh, different SKUs it's compatible with. Suffice to say that you've got a a pretty wide gamut of different models and things that it's going to cover and like I said check out the actual website and it'll you can go and check out the go ahead and check out all the reference information and that covers everything all the different SKUs that it will actually cover so hey yeah, and another thing we're not seeing a lot of any um, on the older boards or the uh, OEM boards is the ability to do the fault recall using this button here so meaning you can pretty much check and recall uh, your past faults so that's pretty powerful uh, this also handles multiple stages, so you can do two-stage or single-stage furnace. So it's legit. It's pretty much got your diagram for your wiring harness. So I mean, it's it's got it's amazing. I like this. They thought it through, uh, make it very easy to troubleshoot in the field. Just all you got to do really is look at the board. You really won't, might not even have to look at the schematic uh, while you know diagnosing this type of board. So I'm hoping we can get a. Uh, you know, over time, a lot of the old furnaces, as the boards fails, to get more of these style in because I really do like the layout. I like the uh, platform, just the usability, the universal or the flexibility of this this system. So, yeah, and even I was looking at the manual and um, just so, stuff. You know, this stuff this simple that's just showing you the actual the timing of everything. You know, your uh, ignition activation period three seconds, igniter warm up, uh, the inducer inner purge, inducer post purge, all these things are definitely giving you pretty much a, a layout of the operation of the system, how this thing is supposed to operate, 
which that's really cool. I like that. Here's all your faults, once again, in the manual. So anytime you install these, make sure you keep that manual. Look at that. That's going to be all the different uh, cross-reference SKUs, that, all the different SKUs that are compatible. Like I said, I'm going to put that on the screen so you're not having to mess with this. And I'll put links in the description below. So yeah, it's just a quick overview. Not really going to be going too in-depth on this. But yeah, stay tuned for the install. I'm going to be installing this thing here shortly in the next few days in a, in a unit that had a board um, failure. So All right. So literally, it's pretty much the same format. This board is almost like for like. And the way I like to do it, we got our power off, so that's good. The way I like to do it, I like to go ahead and just take the old one off the... Yeah, unmount that thing first, then mount the new one on in its place, and then just do one wire at a time. Don't get me wrong. Let's take a look and see here what that's looking like back here. I don't see any. I don't see anything too tragic actually. signs and symptoms that were shown boom so all we do take that harness run it in like such this blue wire for your flame sensor FS there on the old board that's the same here flame sense here okay these are your neutrals here your whites so those neutrals are going to line up down here, along with this harness. So this is just the kind of way to make it stress-free and just kind of foolproof. It's got our neutrals down there. I'll put the neutrals on first, actually, before I do this harness. And all the neutrals are going to be landing on the same traces, really. It doesn't matter where you put them, as long as it's on the neutral bar. Transformer. H. You got your line. Park one park for your low fan speed. High is going to be cool as usual, and then medium high is heat. Let's go ahead and get all these locked in, and we're looking good. Okay, there she goes. Firing up here now. I'm at common in red, sorry. Common in white. There it is. 28 volts. Nice. Beautiful. Runs the inducer. I think that should be everything. Yeah, this is a pretty nice kit. I'm loving the loving the fact that they sent this out. Once again, shout out to ICM Controls. I appreciate you guys sending this out for a review. I'm definitely going to get this thing in the field. I might actually have a job coming up here in the next couple days where I'm gonna install this, so I'll make sure I capture that and I'll get that posted. And definitely let everyone know how this thing does in the field, which I'm pretty sure it'll fare well. I mean, ICM does good work. Definitely worked on their products a lot in the field throughout my career. So other than that, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any experience with this here, this board, and 
the other boards as well. I know they do a couple other boards. They've got defrost boards. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to go ahead and see if they can send me out a defrost board because I'd definitely like to do a review on that, uh, cover that thing. But, yeah, they got a whole bunch of stuff. Check out the websites. Yeah, the website's pretty informative and uh, pretty well put together. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.